Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. We're outside today in the kind of chilly, windy conditions here. We're probably, is it breaking 50 degrees? I don't I think even it know. might have just broken 50. Well, <laughs> not with the wind. Not with this wind gust here. Uh, but with that said, we're still going to hit some new golf clubs today. We've got the Titleist TSI 2 and TSI 3 Fairway Woods, brand new for 2020. Uh, they'll be available for pre order October 29th, and they'll be available in our stores. November 12th. So, Thomas, Titleist Woods taking a big step forward the last few years. TSI 2 and TSI 3 are very intriguing here in 2020. Yeah, so we are going to hit the TSI 3 and TSI 2 Ferry Wood, 15 degree, so the 3 wood model, um, with the Tanzai AV 75 stiff white shaft. Let's test them both the same length, just kind of see how they compare. Yeah, I mean, that is one of the stock offerings uh, from Titleist for the TSI Woods in 2020. And, you can also check out our video on all the stock shaft offerings and the uh, premium shaft offerings as well for both the drivers and the fairways. But uh, Thomas, I'm excited to see this because I'm hoping these things are going to be rockets. I can't wait. Let's uh, get after it. Okay, Thomas, looks like we're starting with the Titleist TSI 2 fairway wood uh, at 15 degrees, of course. And I just wanted to get a gauge of what the fairway wood numbers that you know, we should be expecting from you at this point. I usually hit my fairway wood about 270 is okay. kind of general ballpark um this is i kind of like to play my fairway wood okay yeah. okay and yeah i mean we'll just do kind of what we usually do with these club tests we'll hit a few um, with each we'll kind of come back and then hit the same model two different sessions so to speak and then we'll get the numbers and analyze them and see what the takeaways are sounds good All right, well, Thomas, you smoked, I think, all five of those. Uh, those are all pretty solid shots, and they're pretty darn close to each other, too, out there uh, towards the net or maybe over the net out there. Uh, Dispersion-wise, they're just all a little bit right of the center, but it's all about consistency, right? And yep. they're very close to each other in that aspect. So wanted to get your opinion first on the look and feel of that three wood, and I know it's, it is the TSI 2. And if we're going to base it off of maybe the TS2, the prior generation, probably a you know, larger club head, deeper center of gravity. Is that still true here, the TSI2? Yeah, it's, it's well, first off, let's just say it seemed really easy to hit. Yeah. Fairy Woods is probably the hardest club for me to find that I like, and I probably can relate to a lot of players. Fairy Wood off the tee or off the ground, very hard club to hit. So the fact that I hit those five very consistent every single time stood out to me right off the bat. Mm -hmm. The look of it I can definitely notice a little more kind of pear-shaped look than the TSI dri 2 driver was because it's a little more compact. Yeah. It's still got a little bit of that center of gravity kind of moved back a little bit here. You can see the spot here. Um, so slightly triangular. Uh, I'm excited to look see what the TSI 3 looks like compared to it. Um, but I mean, it felt really easy to hit. Yeah. I, I was pretty happy with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, the trajectory was very similar on all of them. Kind of that higher, not a ton of curve either way, just yep. a, kind of more, mostly a straight ball flight with that right around 100 feet in the air. So uh, that's a pretty good start for the TSI Fairy Woods here. Now we'll get to the TSI 3, which more compact probably, or should be lower spinning. We'll see how it turns out for us. All right. Well, Thomas, from the viewing perspective here, I did notice a few differences. Um, I mean, A, the sound was different for sure, a little bit more quiet with the TSI 3, and then I noticed the ball flight was a little bit more penetrating, a little bit lower, um, which on you know into the wind a little bit today would be a big help. But of course, uh, that does create something, you know, more workability and more control there as well for the player that maybe, you know, launches that thing way into the sky. Yeah, um, probably one of the quietest Fairy Woods I've hit in a long time. Like off the club face, it just feels like 
you're waiting to hear that loud like ting or something like that, yeah. but it just uh, it doesn't happen. It's just it's just dull. It's just it just sounds really really. It quiet. sounds almost like a persimmon wood. It's so it's like a thud versus that ting that you mentioned, which yep. um, you know that's a lot of like we've talked about before. Some golfers like that loud noise, and some like it more soft. Uh, but it, in it certainly performed right we saw that and, and looking at the numbers briefly after the five shots with each very very competitive and I think the major difference really as I scroll over here is just the height at which the ball traveled into the air so I also feel like when I hit the TSI 3 well it went really far like it was hit really really solid but when I didn't catch it perfect yeah. there's a couple that spun kind of that three to four thousand range I noticed it right at the bat, and I felt a little spinny and got ate up, ate up in the wind a little bit there as well. Yeah, there was one in particular that I think you maybe hit a little bit like, low on the face there, which generated 4,000 RPM of spin. Uh, but other than that, it was right around that 3,000 mark, maybe a couple dipped below, a couple dipped above for the TSI-3. But, I mean, you have a couple out there total distance that are at or near 290 yards. So that's pretty remarkable there for the TSI-3. And I think just the one miss hit maybe have, may have uh, you know, dropped the, the averages down a little bit, but yep. you were smoking that TSI-3. Yeah, best shots with this club would definitely the furthest for sure. Felt yeah. really solid as well. well. Let's get five more with each one and solidify this data. Sounds good. Well, Thomas, one of the things you mentioned right away after coming back to the TSI-2 was the look. Uh, you noticed the shape and the difference in uh, how large the profile is at address, right? Yeah, so TSI-3, definitely a little smaller profile. I know these are both have 15 degrees of loft on them, but for me looking down at it, the 2 looks like it's just got, it looks like it's got more loft on it. Maybe it's to do with the way the club face sits, the lie angle a little bit on yeah. it there too. Um, it just seemed like it's easier to get the ball up in the air with the two than with the, the three. So it'll be interesting sure. to take a look at the height when we analyze all the data there between the two of them there and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, as of now, you're hitting the TSI 2 a little bit higher, but we do have five more shots with the TSI 3. Okay. Uh, but, you know, so far, the TSI 2 numbers are pretty darn solid. Your smash is over 1.5. Uh, your spin is just over 3,000. Your carry distance is just over 260, and you're... And I, you said 280 about is what you like to hit your three wood, right? 280.0. 280.0. For the TSI too. So it's pretty solid right there. Now we'll, uh, and of course the dispersion on the left side of the screen there, it's very consistent. It's very consistent. You started out with a lot, a little bit right of center, and then it's kind of brought a little bit more back towards the center line yep. uh, since then. But it's, uh, it's pretty Im impressive right there. Okay. Let's uh, hit the TSI three and see how they all compare. Yeah. Thomas, I think with both of these clubs, the initial takeaway for me is that these things are really easy to hit straight. I mean, your ball flights on a lot of them, there's very little curve. And that's even watching the ball with this wind into our face. Like that thing is piercing through the wind and staying on line really well with both clubs and the TSI-3 here in particular. Yeah, so when I hit the TSI-3 well, it definitely spun a little bit less. It looked like it was a little bit more of a penetrating ball flight a little lower, um, but I did have three or four when I hit the TSI three that I got a little bit low on the face. Mm -hmm. That did kind of spin a little bit more. I did I didn't yeah. notice. So it's going to probably look like the averages bring them pretty similar with regards to spin. But I'd say just kind of think about consistency a little bit. The TSI three I didn't quite hit as maybe consistent, 
Yeah. Don't get me wrong, probably five out of 10 of those swings were really good, but the other ones I did miss it just a little bit, and that's where I, you see the averages may look a little sim more similar. Yeah, I mean, overall you got, well, you had that one in the first set of shots that was eclipsing 4,000 RPM, and then you had a few there that got over 3,500. Yep. So that did bring the averages up in, for spin, and kind of really ultimately brought the distance down, I think, because you, when you hit that TSI-3, the distance it gained, you know, five to 10 yards, it had that lower penetrating flight. Yep. Um, and it kind of chased out a little bit more in the total distance department. So, but uh, looking at the dispersion briefly, I mean, very small, consistent circles uh, there as well. The TSI-3 is just a little left overall okay. of the TSI-2. So maybe a little bit more workable, maybe that draw is kind of turning over a little bit more. But um, I mean, overall, Thomas, I mean, these things are rockets. They, they launch and they stay online. Yeah. Same, fairly easy to hit, um, which is what I want in Fairwood because, as I mentioned, this is one of the harder clubs for me to hit, and a lot of uh, customers will kind of appreciate a club that's going to be a little bit more forgiving. For yeah, sure. yeah, and I think both of them are. I think you just see it maybe a tad more of it with the TSI 2 in that larger club head shape. But um, we got the data here. I'll give this over to you, and we can uh, recap all this. All right, sounds good. All right, Thomas, you've got the data. We hit. I guess that was 20 shots with the TSI-2 and TSI-3 Ferry Woods there in total. Uh, a lot of great shots I saw there. So what are the big takeaways here from the data and what can you tell us about these clubs? Yeah, so I was swinging both about 105 miles an hour with a bull speed in the upper 150s. So you mentioned smash factor over 1.5. Yeah. Oh, that, that's pretty, pretty impressive <laughs> to see on we'll average 151. So if this was a driver, test we'd be a little worried about those smash factor numbers but because it's a fairy wood there is actually no really regulations on yeah. limiting that ball speed coming off that club face there so that's why you can get some numbers that push the 151 152 yeah. mark a little bit there as well um, both were at 151 if you look at spin both 32 3300 rpms of spin it's pretty close to where I want with regards to a fairway wood. Yeah. If you take a look here, you can see the TSI-2 did spin just a little bit less than the TSI-3 on average. Yeah. However, I do want to just expand and take a quick look here. Um, the lowest spin with the TSI-2 was shot 10. So that was the last shot that I hit here. And it actually was the only one that did spin under um, 3,000 RPMs. It was oh, really? at like 2775. Uh, if we take a look at the TSI-3, I had one here, shot two was 2,500 RPM to spin, shot eight was 2,700 RPM to spin, so was, and then shot one was like 2,900 RPM to spin. So theoretically, I would say that the TSI-3 would probably spin just a little bit less overall. Yeah. Um, there were just a couple of misses, and that's Forgiveness level, forgiveness with the with the clubs. The TS right three, TSI three is not maybe not quite as forgiving as, as the two. Yeah. Um, you'll notice what happened when that spin rate dropped. Uh, if we look at shot two here, two sixty three going two ninety. I believe <laughs> that is the furthest shot that I hit. I got a two eighty six and a two eighty seven also with the TSI three. Um, the highest number to. Uh, 285 with the um, with the TSI 2. Yeah. So yeah, the TSI 3 did go just a little bit further um, on the good shots. I'd say TSI 2 is just a little bit more forgiving and maybe slightly more kind of consistent on the, yeah. on the numbers there. Yeah, and the TSI 2 was probably carrying a little bit further too, because if I remember correctly, it was flying a little bit higher than the TSI 3 on average. It was. So if you take a look at the average height with the TSI 2, it was 97.4. Average height with the TSI-3 was 86.2. Okay. So it was about 10, 11 feet higher yeah. than the than the TSI-3 there as well. Um, launch angle, it was launching 10.7 with the TSI-2, 8.9 with the TSI-3. Okay. So kind of interesting there. Um, wow, I'm just taking a quick look at my club path face angle and face to path numbers. They were pretty good. So I felt <laughs> like I was swinging pretty solid there. First time I've seen like those club path and face angle and face to path numbers all like in the zero point or yeah, and the most highest was 1.0 with the face angle. So oh my, pretty pretty good numbers there. I'm pretty happy with that. So you're um, swinging well today, that's for sure. <laughs> so that that's why there weren't wasn't much curve on the ball. Yeah. So we take a look at the curve with these shots here. Um, on average, curve 6.1 feet of curve to the right with the TSI two and 
10.5 feet of curve with the TSI 3 to the left. So okay. interesting that the TSI 3 was curving just a little bit more kind of left, maybe a little more workable, mm -hmm. knowing when there's more loft on a golf club, it is a little easier for me to generate that shot that I like to hit. Yeah. Driver's harder for me to draw, but once I get that three wood in my hand, I can hit a little yeah. bit more of a draw with that club. Yeah, I know you're li that's the trajectory you like to hit when you can, and it's interesting that we see the TSI 3, perhaps the more workable club head, maybe able to turn it over a little bit, create that more of a draw shape on average than we saw with the TSI 2. Yeah, and then the TSI 2 is just going straight. So, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. part of it too. It's just a dead straight ball <laughs> flight most of the time. Yeah. So and that, you'll never complain about that. Yeah, face to path numbers of 0, 0.0 and 0. 0.1. Pretty good on average. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that any day, though. So, yeah, these, these clubs are great. I, uh, had, yeah, they, they were awesome. Um, I really like looking down. It's kind of interesting because I know with the tightless fairy woods and drivers in the past, they've had that triangle yeah. lineman on there. Now it just says kind of TSI on there. Looks really, really clean. Yeah. I really like looking down these clubs. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that is one thing to point out that they've kind of, uh, over the few generations, last few generations, they've really changed up that kind of uh, alignment aid on the crown, both of the fairy woods and the drivers. And this year they've kind of gone to that TSI little logo in the middle there. And uh, you hear from Thomas, it's easy to look down at and uh, very clean looking and confidence inspiring uh, at address. So uh, I think, you know, fairway woods are, are an interesting one because it's like, it's not a club that is maybe used as much as a driver, uh, but it's one that it, it is, it's necessary in your bag, right? Because you don't want to have that major gap between driver and then maybe a hybrid or into your iron set. Yep. And these clubs, it, they're rockets. You know, they fill that gap very nicely as we saw here from Thomas. Uh, very, mostly straight ball flights. And if it's workable, if you got that draw, if you're able to hit a draw or a fade, you're gonna see that on the TSI 3 too. And it's gonna be consistent with it. Yeah, they were really easy to hit. Just kind of taking a look at my dispersion really quickly here. The furthest shot left was 16 yards left, and the furthest shot right was 20 yards right of target. Okay. And that's a cl club that's going 280, 290. That's pretty impressive. If I was going to take those two miss sets out, then it's basically 13 yards either direction. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I would take that in, in a heartbeat with you know, a fairy wood, knowing that fairy wood is one of the hardest clubs for me to hit, and also a lot of players there as yeah. well. So. Yeah, but I give we, them both a thumbs up. Right, yeah. we've got you know forgiveness, we've got distance, we've got high ball speeds, high smash factors. Um, the title is TSI 2 and TSI 3 Fairy Woods. I mean, they bring it all, right? Um, so golfers, if you're interested in one of these Fairy Woods, of course, you can stop into one of our Second Swing stores. Um, they'll be available on November 12th in the stores. Or once again, you can pre-order yours on October 29th. Uh, through Second Swing and our online team as well. So, but Thomas, thank you for hitting the shots today, providing the information. These things are pretty solid. Yeah, they're really impressive.